The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the game which follows the tale of Geralt of Rivia and company in search of his lost child of destiny. A truly terrific story, both exciting and emotional. This game holds an extremely special place in my heart. I was a true late arrival to the awesomeness that is the world of The Witcher, only having first played through the game in 2021. Even then, it was truly revolutionary in my eyes. This game is the best RPG I have ever played, and maybe the best one to ever be made. While not everyone will agree, I don't necessarily think that is an unpopular opinion. After its release, it earned a ridiculous 260 Game of the Year awards, which was the record for five years until The Last of Us 2 surpassed it. Then Elden Ring swiftly smashed both records, garnering 331 awards. For a game, which at the time came from a lesser known series based on books written by a Polish author, which had not gained much traction in the mainstream to burst onto the scene the way The Witcher 3 did, was pretty unprecedented, yet well deserved. It sold millions of copies in the first few months after its release, and only kept selling more as the game gained popularity with 40 million copies being reported as of April 2022. You only have to boot up the game and play for a few minutes to see why it holds such a legendary status. Whether it's the intense opening cinematic, the stunning view from the balcony of Kaer Morhen, or the dystopian ride into Velen, all of these visuals catch the eye Yet, they also bring attention to the beauty and brutality of the world, one of the main themes of the game. While the systems and mechanics can seem slightly overwhelming for a first-time player, they are quite easy to catch on to. Once you surpass the beginning learning curve, you will find yourself completely enthralled in a living world. CD Projekt Red did an excellent job of making a living, breathing world for the character to experience through the eyes of Geralt, filled with locations to explore, quests to complete, and a plethora of monsters to slay. When I first played, I loved going job board to job board collecting every bounty quest I could find. In this game, there is a quality over quantity approach to the side quests of The Witcher. Nearly every quest has its own little story attached to it, whether it is an old lady who had her prized pan stolen or a werewolf who was tricked into slaying his beloved. The quests in The Witcher have a way of piquing interest and evoking emotion. No quest can do that better than the main quest, however. While the stories and characters may seem foreign to first time players, not familiar to the world of The Witcher, they are still extremely enthralling. When gaming, I have always struggled to maintain focus. Usually I would have YouTube on in the background while I would play the game, but when I played The Witcher, I found myself shutting off everything else around me and putting on my headphones and playing the game. The main story truly captures the player. It is intriguing, filled with twists and turns, and characters that you truly care about. Most importantly, it takes the player's choices into account. There are multiple endings, some better than others, that all rely on the decisions that the player makes over the course of the story. Nothing makes a story matter more than when the fate of the world is held in your hands. Once you complete the main story, there is plenty more to be done. Witcher 3 has two DLCs that perhaps excel the main game. Hearts of Stone tells a tragic story of an unfortunate soul bound to an evil deity. A true story of life and death, love lost and resentment grown, filled with new monsters and characters. There are many hours of new material added, and yet, the outcome falls upon the shoulders of you and Geralt. Blood and Wine, a true expansion of the game which exemplifies what a DLC should be. I have truly never played an expansion that exceeded the base game itself, especially a game so perfect in its own right. Blood and Wine takes you to the land of Toussaint, the home of vineyards and views, whose beauty is unmatched. Here the player will find knight errants determined to be nothing but chivalrous, and a contract, the likes of which a witcher has never faced. Challenge unbridled, beauty unrivaled, Tucson is a land of true wonder and mystery. When the day is done, and Geralt lounges in the sun of Corvo Bianco, you can look back at the game that was. The magical tales that were twisted, the characters intertwined within it all, all the damn question marks in Skellige that you spent hours sailing back and forth from. You realize how amazing this game truly was. I love nothing more than a game that invokes my emotions, and this game did an amazing job at that. There were times when I was nervous, scared of situations that placed butterflies in my stomach. Hell, this is the first video game that made me shed real tears. But most importantly are the lessons that you learn while playing the game. The Witcher 3 teaches us that monsters aren't always the ones with nasty teeth and blooded claws, but sometimes they are the people who walk among us, the people who have no regards for others. Those can be the true monsters of the world.